Welcome back. So if you're just tuning in now, this series is about really mastering for yourself how to run an effective swish pattern. In my opinion, one of the most powerful and simple techniques to change any bad habits, any negative emotions, negative limiting beliefs, or at its most powerful, your self-image. Now, I highly recommend that you watch these videos in order. So if you haven't seen the previous video, please go back and start there. It will help you. But just to recap, the swish pattern works because we're using Hebb's Law, which is from neuroscience, the power of association in which we chain from your present undesired state, whether it's a bad habit or a bad feeling or a behavior you don't like, and we chain into your new desired state. So we take your neurons of the present state and then we take the neurons of the desired state and we fire the neurons in such a way that as soon as you feel the limited state, you go into the desired state, right? So now we have present state going into desired state. And so the steps of this process are one, you need a present state, you need a problem, or at the very least, a situation you would like to improve. So it could be a negative feeling, it could be a bad habit, maybe, you know, there's some, you know, I work with a lot of business owners who they should be making more phone calls. This pattern works wonderful for that. Uh, if you'd like to be, if I work with entertainers who want to be more consistent um, in their writing, any behavior, emotion, or mode of being that is no longer serving you, let's pick that as your present state, right? So first, what is the present state? Are you a smoker and you want to quit smoking? Um, do, you, do you want to work out more? Do you want to stop eating carbs, right? What is the limitation that you have? And write it out. Stop what you're doing right now. My present state is I feel blank when blank. Okay, so you have your present state, limitation, behavior, habit, way of thinking, whatever it is. And once you have that, I want you now to think about what contexts do you experience this in. So with the smoking example, right? A smoker might have an after, uh, have a cigarette after coffee in the morning. They might have a morning cigarette. They might have an after sex cigarette. They might have um, a stress cigarette at work or when their boss annoys them, right? I want you to think about all of the different contexts, the different types of ways you do this limitation, okay? So what are the various contexts that you engage in your lim limiting behavior? And you need to list those out because oftentimes our limitations show up in different contexts for different reasons, right? So back to the smoking example, maybe the one in the morning is to help somebody get their mind started, right? The nicotine and the adrenaline rush, as soon as that hits their bloodstream, it helps them to focus in for the day. Uh, another possibility is that, you know, uh, they're stressed out at work and they take that cigarette break to go relax. Those serve two different functions. And because of that, there may be different neural pathways associated with those individual contexts. So I want you to think about what is my present state and then what are the different contexts I do this in. So I'll give you one more example here. Maybe you're a business owner. Let's say you're a real estate agent and you need to prospect more consistently. Well, where are you when you're not prospecting? You should be making your calls and you're not. You're in your office or maybe you should be door knocking and you're not. What are all of the different ways in which you have this present state or this present problem? Make a list. The more thorough you are in this step, the more powerful this change will be for you, more complete actually. So once you have all the context, for each context now, you're going to want to find the trigger the trigger for you to think, feel, and behave in that way, okay? So, first of all, how do you think, feel, and behave? And I want you to remember this acronym, FAT, okay, F-A-T. So, F-A-T, 
How do I feel in that situation? How do I act in that situation? And how do I think in that situation that allows me to feel and act that way in the first place? Okay, so write that down. For each context, what is my fat? What is my feel? What is my action? What is my thinking in those contexts? And then once you have that, I want you to find the trigger for your fat, your fat trigger. I want you to find the trigger that sets off that thinking. Ask yourself this question. What happens right before I have my limited thinking, feeling, or acting? And more specifically than that, and this is key, really listen in here. I want you to think about where are you typically right before you have that problem? The effectiveness of this pattern is in you identifying the moment you go from being in a normal state to having your problem. And if you can rewind to right before you have that problem, you will discover the trigger. For some people, like for a smoker, for example, the trigger might be seeing their box of cigarettes, right? Their favorite brand. Uh, for another person, uh, it might be seeing a stressed out look on their boss's face that stresses them out so they go and smoke. What is it that triggers you to engage in the present state? And the way that you find this is by, look, sit down, be patient with yourself, and really just map it back out, work backwards. Remember the last time you engaged in your unwanted behavior, whether that was today or yesterday, five minutes ago, it doesn't matter. And then begin to work backwards. What happened right before you did that? and rewind yourself all the way back to the moment you were triggered. And I want you to pay attention to what it was that actually triggered you. Now, this is key, this is key. What did you see, hear, and feel in that moment, in the environment? Where were you? What were you seeing? What were you hearing? And what were you feeling? So narrow it down to an actual environmental visual cue. What did you see? What did you hear? And what did you feel? So see, hear, feel. We wanna find out what is it that happens right before. And if you can get to the moment in time right before you had that problem, seeing what you saw, hearing what you heard right before, and then freeze that image in time, like a still picture, that is going to serve as a trigger image for you to run the swish pattern on that trigger. So one more time. You're gonna go to right before you had the problem. You're gonna see what you saw, hear what you heard, feel what you felt right before the problem. Freeze the image, hold it like a still image. And this is going to serve as the trigger. When you do this, you're lighting up all of the neurology associated with that problem. Your brain holds these together in a gestalt, in a grouping, if you will. So by putting that picture there, holding it still, you're capturing all of that present state. Now. In a session with a coach, what you would do is you would identify a trigger for each context. So what I want you to do is I want you to find the trigger image for each context in which you have this problem. And once you have that, you're ready to go on to the next video. You're almost 30% there to completely eradicating this bad habit, negative feeling, limiting belief, whatever it is from your life completely, or if you're going generative, because oftentimes I work with people who are very successful and they just want to create more success, you can take what's good and then chain it to even better. So make sure you're being creative with how you use your mind is capable of incredible things. Once you learn how to put your mind and aim it in the right direction with a pattern like this. Okay, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you're getting the next video in the series. Feel free to ask questions in the comment section so I can go ahead and help you do this for yourself and you will find yourself naturally exiting the present state and getting into the desired state if you work your way through the series. See you in the next video.